control in the asset management subfamily um, is organizational communication and data flows are mapped. This happens to be one of my favorite. Uh, regularly, whenever I sit down with an organization, a client, ask about two things usually. Show me the architectural diagram, show me the data flows for the system. Because from there, I can help make a decision about the risk they're talking about when it comes to that system, that application, whatever. I'm a visual learner, you can't tell. Um, and I also need to understand really, you know, does the system that we have set up, right, is it communicating over what? Something as simple as the ports, protocols, and services. Is it communicating over port 80 in HTTP? Okay, great, good to know. Now I know that this is the communication path. Is the, uh, you know, is the backend system um, some SQL environment and it's running over uh, 1433 to a database? Okay, good to know. This type of a simple drawing and uh, mapping, while yes, it takes work to be, to, to, to do, it's incredibly illustrative of what it is that you're looking to do. Now you basically have the map of what you're talking about. Not everybody can walk through a very text-laden document and understand the same thing. I think what we need to do is understand other people's learning styles and start applying that. But either way, um, every time we've done uh, organizational um, security postures, reviews, setups, even within um, the DOD, you'll see that they're looking for SSP. SSPs, uh, they ask you for, plain and simple, network architecture, network diagram. Show me how this is laid out. What was your intent with these systems? So, in order to meet this control, clearly having your architecture diagrammed, clearly having the data flows between systems and your intended paths, right? If you had your firewall sitting here, did you actually mean for all of those high ports to be allowed in? Did you allow for anybody internal to be able to make DNS calls on port 53 out to an external resolver? Mm, probably not. Uh, well, having an understanding and being able to take this diagram, provide it to either an auditor or your security team, or working hand in hand with your security team, becomes really easy and really clear very quickly what it is that you intended to do and what you currently have so that you can ideally identify and then address the risk. Remember, this isn't just to create busy work for you and your organization or the network teams or the IT teams or even the security teams or whomever. The intent of this control is to lead towards identifying the assets, identifying the data flows, being able to understand what's inside of your environment so you can then better categorize it, you can uh, establish criticality on it, and you can understand too, do you allow things that you shouldn't? And having a map allows you to clearly and quickly identify if you have an issue or if you don't.